Welcome back to the channel, guys. It is me, 8744. So today, guys, I'm going to do my third round qualifying predictions for Asia, guys. I want to know your guys' predictions in the comments below. And yeah, we're going to go ahead and get started, man. We're going to go ahead and get started. Uh, before we start, though, I do want to make this clear, guys. The top two in each group qualify directly. Third and fourth goes to the playoffs. So I just want to make sure that everyone is aware of that before we do the predictions. Now, let's do the predictions. So, let's start with Group A, guys. So, Group A, we got here it's Iran, Qatar, Uzbekistan, Kyrgyzstan, and North Korea. So, coming in last place, I'm going to have is Kyrgyzstan. I think Kyrgyzstan, for me, I'm just not simply convinced with them. Their attack is very poor. They only scored, they don't score enough goals. And the fact that they got grouped in this year's Asian Cup is quite sad. And considering they're up against, like, uh, in the World Cup qualifiers against Malaysia, uh, that only just had made their, you know, play in the Asian Cup for some time. You know, last time was 2007. I expected more from Kyrgyzstan. So for me, Kyrgyzstan, I have them to finish last place. I think they're going to be the worst team in this group. And yeah, I don't see much hope from going for them. Uh, fifth place I have is North Korea. Now, North Korea, for me, I feel like is a good team. I think defensively they're good. But the issue for me is their attack in the midfield is not good enough. There is not. And, you know... And I feel like as much as we give praise to North Korea for making it through, let's be real, Syria probably should have been in this position. You know, especially after they tied against Myanmar. You know, and Syria should have had, the, they had a lot of chance against North Korea. Syria should have uh, made it through. But, you know, it is what it is. North Korea did it. And I think what's going to give North Korea the edge, a push above Kyrgyzstan is the fact that they can get those draws. I have more faith that North Korea can get draws than Kyrgyzstan. And the fourth for me is UAE. Now, I don't know what's going on with Ali Makbut. Is Ali Makbut is still part of the national team? Is he? I don't know what's going on because Paulo Bento has completely pretty much exiled him. He's pretty much nowhere to be seen. He's pretty much, there's, there's, is there like a falling out? Let me know, UEE people in the comments below, man. My Emirati fan, the people that, like, let me know in the comments, guys. What is going on with Ali Makbut? Because you can't be getting this guy out. He's one of your top goal scorers of your team, historically speaking. And the fact you're going to try to remove him is just really disgraceful. It's really, really shameful. And I sure, I know he's up there in age. You know, he's getting up there in age. But he could still provide you the goals. He could still come off the bench and be a super sub. Or, you know, he could, you know, score a goal, two goals, and you come off. You know, it's just ridiculous for me. Because you really do have some young talent coming through. They do have some young talent. There's like a good striker, I believe, from Botafogo. Um, you know, he's a good, talented player. You know, and he's actually from my, one of my friends' club. I believe Shabib al Duli as a team name. So... Yeah, I just think for me, UE have young emerging talent. They have Paulo Bento, who's an experienced coach. I just think for me, this is a bridge too far for UE. I just think UE for me, then Iran, Qatar, Uzbekistan are heads and shoulders above Bahrain and, you know, Yemen and these kind of countries. And so I feel like for me, UE will struggle in that sense. But I think the playoffs is probably more of a realistic um, option for them. And then third, now this might come as a surprise, guys. I have this Qatar. We are. We have seen how good Qatar have been in Asia. You, you know, people are going to tell to me, how can you put Qatar third? They just won back to back Asian Cups for crying out loud, guys. We have to keep this in mind. The last Asian Cup wasn't really convincing. It wasn't convincing, and the fact that they were home for the most, they were pretty much home for the entire tournament, is speaks volume. Now I know people are going to bring. What about 2019, guys? 2019 was five years ago. Qatar team is not the same from five years ago, you know, and a lot, and that team is not the same, you know. And sure, I know they did it um, in UAE, which was incredible. But this team doesn't have the same dominance as they were at that time, you know. And sure, look at the group they were in. They were dominant in that group. Guys, that group was weak. India, Kuwait, Afghanistan is really not that strong. So I think Qatar, for me, they're going to get challenged here in this group. And I feel like the players like Akram Afif, Amos Ali are going to step up. And I feel like what really worries me with Qatar is the defense. Defense is very sketchy. And that worries me, especially if away from home, because I think that's where Qatar is going to really struggle. I think a lot of the games on the road, they're going to really struggle in, because I think at home, they're very good. It's just their away games I'm very concerned with, because away from home, I'm not too sure what I can make up with this team. So for that reason, I have Qatar third, and the second has Uzbekistan. Now, Uzbekistan for me is a country I've never qualified for the World Cup ever, and they were very close to doing so, I believe, in 2014, if memory serves me right. Um, so... This might be the year they can do it, especially with Asia getting expanded slots and everything. This might be the year that Uzbekistan can finally do it. And I feel like for me, Uzbekistan, sure, I mean, they don't have the star names like Qatar have. But Uzbekistan, for me, are more well-drilled. They're more solid. Their midfield defense is tough. And what makes them very difficult to beat is that how good they are defensively. 
And I just feel like for me, they're just so well coached and everything. And remember, this is the only team that Qatar failed to beat in the Asian Cup. In fact, they they, they registered a 1-1 draw against them. And you could maybe make an argument that they were better than them. It's just that Qatar were at home, you know, went to penalties. And, you know, penalties at the lottery at the end of the day. So I think for Uzbekistan, I think they'll just, they'll hit second. But, man, it's close because Qatar, Uzbekistan, it, it can go either way. I'm giving a side issue, Uzbekistan. And the first for me is Iran. Iran, for me, should top the group with no questions asked. They have too much quality. You know, Mehdi, Taremi, I put in the thumbnail. And, obviously, you got Jahan Bakash, you know, and these kind of players, Godos. I don't have to mention it more. They should top the group without a doubt. Moving to Group B, we got Korea Republic, Iraq, Jordan, Oman, Palestine, and Kuwait. Coming to last place, I have is Kuwait. I'm not convinced with Kuwait. I think they were one of the worst teams to qualify from uh, in this round. And the fact that they only just did beat a, a defeated Afghanistan twice is just not really great, you know. And I just feel like for me with Kuwait, I just don't really see enough for them attacking-wise. Defensively, they aren't that bad, to be fair. They don't concede a lot of goals, but their attack is very poor. So for me, I'm going to have to put Kuwait sixth. I'm sorry to say. I know uh, the last time they made the World Cup, they were in a group of South Korea. So I know some Kuwaitis may tell me that in the comments, guys, that was a long time ago. That was 1982. This isn't the same. This is 2024. So a lot has changed since then. But yeah, I'm going to go with Kuwait last. And the fifth I have is Oman. Now, Oman is such a tricky team, guys, because I feel like they're a team that can either do really well or really underperform. They're very much a wild card team. Because we saw what they did in the 2022 World Cup qualifiers. They made it to the third round. They they defeated Japan on the road. And I believe they um they pulled off some they got a draw against Australia. So the thing with Oman is that they don't score a lot of goals, but they don't concede a lot. But the issue I have with Oman is that I feel like they have started to underperform, regress, you know, and we saw in the Asian Cup where they should have made it through in third place. They had a one nil lead against Kyrgyzstan and they literally blew it at the last 10 minutes of the game. Just unacceptable for Oman. And I feel like for Oman and the group they were in, I wasn't convinced of them. They weren't in a very challenging group. It was with Kyrgyzstan that have been that have been on their decline. And, you know, you got Malaysia that have been on the rise. But, you know, they should be beating Malaysia. And they only top with 12 points. So, yeah, for me with Oman, guys, I don't know what to make up this team because this team can definitely get the playoffs. It wouldn't surprise me. But at the same time, I don't have a lot of faith in them. So I'm going to put them fifth for now. But they definitely can get fourth, and guys, fourth is Palestine. Guys, I really like Palestine. I think Palestine, for me, have a tremendous chance. I've seen how well they've been doing the qualifiers. They're so well organized defensively. They don't concede a lot of goals. And their striker, Dabag, he's a very good striker, guys. He should make a move to Europe. And, you know, Palestine made history by, you know, making it through the World, uh, World Cup qualifiers, the third round for the first time ever. And also, they made the Asian Cup round of 16. So, I just think for Palestine... They're a very difficult team to beat, and I think they're going to make the playoffs. I think they have the squad to do so, and I'm going to go th for them to finish fourth. Now, third and second. This is what gets very interesting, guys. Iraq or Jordan? Which nation do I pick? I pick Jordan third. It was very, very hard. I reluctantly put Jordan third because as a neutral, I would love to see Jordan make it through. I would love to see Jordan directly qualify from this position, and they may still qualify through the playoffs. But I would love to see them do it here. And I just think that for me, the only thing that's holding me back from putting Jordan second is the fact the coach left. That's the only reason. Otherwise, I probably would put them second. Because this is the same country that made it all the way to the Asian Cup final. They defeated like powerhouse countries like South Korea and Iraq. These are two big countries. And this is the first time they made it to a semifinals, guys, in their history. Absolutely incredible achievement. Players like Al Taremi, Anemi have been so amazing. I really like this Jordan team. But what's so incredible is that this team only has one player playing in Europe. I mean, that's insane. That's insane. I just think for me, the coach leaving is going to create a rift. Uh, they're going to have an adjusting period with a new coach. And I think that's going to take time for them to adjust. And I feel like, unfortunately, that will cost them early points in the early stages of the qualifiers. I really hope I'm wrong with this prediction because I would love to see them prove me wrong. But I think they're going to finish third. And I think third would still be a great achievement because they could still make it through the playoffs. And the second place I have is Iraq. Iraq, man, I really like the Iraq team. I think they're very well coached. I think they're one of the most underrated teams in Asia. I look at how good their uh, the team is overall. You know, the coach stayed for such a good period amount of time. And that's, for me, key. Continuity is key. And their striker, Ahmed Hussein, is just a goal-scoring machine. 
The guy is just an incredible strike. I don't know how he's still not playing in Europe. The guy should be in Europe, man. The guy has been scoring an incredible amount of goals. And I just think Iraq from here is so good, man. My only concern with Iraq is their defense. I think their defense is a bit questionable. And I think that's where I could see maybe Jordan get the better of them. And by the way, that Jordan Iraq game is going to be fire. I remember that game of the Asian Cup, man. One of the best games this year, in my opinion. Fantastic game. Anyways, I just think for me, Iraq, I think their defense is going to be their liability, their Achilles heel. But I think their attack is so lethal, so clinical, that I think they should be able to pull through at least third place. And I'm going to go with them to finish second. And the South Korea, without a doubt, they should top the group. I didn't, I didn't even need to explain. Son Hyun Min, you know, Gawangi Chan, like uh, Kim Min Jae. Like the name, the list goes on and on. They just have too many quality players. They should top the group. Now, moving to Group C, guys. We got Japan, Australia, Saudi Arabia, Bahrain, China, Indonesia. Coming last place I have is China. I am simply not convinced with China. I think they've been very poor in the last couple of years. The Chinese league has gone down. The Saudi league has now kind of been the main the, the league for Europeans now. And what makes China so, the downfall so sad is their attack is so garbage. Without Wu Li, China's attack is so terrible. It's really terrible. And they just barely advanced to this round by the by head to head and they have to thank singapore because singapore goalkeeper pretty much pulled out a master class without singapore goalkeeper pulling a master class china wouldn't even be in this position tyler would have replaced them so china you you are very lucky to be in the stage very lucky and the fact that you even score a goal this year's asian cup is, is just embarrassing for a country with one billion plus people to not score a goal in the asian cup is crazy to me it is unacceptable I don't care if it's your main sport or not. It's it's inexcusable. So yeah, for me, China, I'm going to have them to finish sixth place. I think they'll they'll do terrible here. I don't see them much hope. Now, I will say that China's games at home could potentially be interesting. I think their home form could maybe get them a playoff spot. And, you know, their midfield defense isn't too bad. But I'm sorry. I don't I I I China have to prove it to me. Because I haven't seen enough from them. So I'm going to put them last. I know it may seem like a very harsh prediction. But I really do believe China will finish last. At the fifth, I have is Indonesia. It pains me to this, guys. I would love to see Indonesia direct uh, to get to playoffs. But I think Indonesia, for me, this is a bridge too far. And I feel like, for me, their attack is great. Um, Their defense is good. It's just that I think the countries in this group are way better than the ones they played in that, that group stage. You know, with Iraq. You know, Vietnam, I just feel like for me, these nations are significantly um, better um, than Vietnam. And we know how bad Vietnam has been the last couple of years. You know, credit to them, though. They made it to the Asian Cup round of 16 for the first time ever in their history. And it's an incredible achievement. And it would be amazing if Indonesia could pull this off. Because I believe they're the only country in the third round that made it through from round one. So that's an incredible achievement. But I think for me, this is a bridge too far uh, for Indonesia. And yeah, I, I really hope they can prove me wrong because I'd love to see it. I'm going to have them finish fifth. And the fourth is Bahrain. Bahrain, for me, defensively are very tough. Bahrain don't concede a lot of goals. And for that reason, I have them finish fourth. And I think their defense is going to carry them to a fourth place. But honestly, they're kind of between, for me, Indonesia and Bahrain. It's interchangeable. I'm giving a slight edge to Bahrain. Um, but I could see Indonesia definitely doing it. So they definitely have it. So I'm going to go Bahrain to finish fourth because of how good their defense is. And third, this is a really tough one, guys. It's between Australia and Saudi Arabia. I ended up going with Saudi because I feel like Saudi Arabia for me have not been the same since. And guys, this might seem crazy to say, guys, but I think Saudi Arabia have fallen off ever since they beat Argentina in the World Cup. I think because we, at the time we thought it was one of the best things to happen to them, but I think it might have been one of the worst things because a lot of the players from that Saudi Arabia that beat Argentina are not even part of the national team anymore because they got so arrogant. They believed that they were too good. They didn't feel like playing anymore. Like, okay, we already did enough by beating Argentina, you know, one of the biggest nations in the world in football. And a lot of those players aren't there anymore. And I just feel like for me, Saudi have just been since then dipping and dipping and dipping, kind of been doing the bare minimum, it feels. And I just don't really see enough for Saudi to directly qualify this time around. Now, they do have Mancini, who is a great coach. We, you know, we saw what he did with Italy. He, make, he got them to win the Euro. So, and, you know, in Saudi Arabia, the last two World Cup qualifying groups, they have managed to get through uh, qualifying directly. So they do have that going for them history. But I feel like history for me won't matter for them for right now. And I just think Saudi for me are just really not the same as they were a few years ago. So I'm going to have them finish third. And the second is Australia. Australia is always a team that likes to do the hard way, guys. They're always a team that likes to do the hard way. It wouldn't surprise me they should go through the playoffs. 
But I just think Australia, for me, this time around, they have too much quality not to not to to qualify directly. I think they should qualify directly. I really like how good their team. They're very much team ethos. Their team ethos is very strong, and I just been really convinced with it. Just been happy with Australia. You know, they made it through. Uh, the quarterfinals, you know, they were a few minutes away from knocking out South Korea, which they completely outplayed South Korea, by the way. And I just think for me, Australia is on the rise. Sure, they may not have the name, big name players like, you know, the other countries do, the top countries in Asia. But I think they're so well organized that they don't need the top names. They're just so well organized. Graham Arnold is such a good coach. And I, I have I have faith in Australia to finish second. At uh, first, I have is Japan. It goes without saying Japan are the best team in Asia. Uh, they have too many quality players like, you know, uh, Mitoma, uh, you got Kubo, uh, you know, um, Tomiyasu, like the name, the list goes on and on. They have a stacked team. Japan should top this group. So there you have it, guys. Those are my welcome five predictions for Asia. I want to know your guys' predictions in the comments below. And yeah, like I said, guys, I hope you guys enjoy. Peace out.